Hello, this is a video on how to swap or upgrade the hard disk in a Lenovo IdeaPad 320-15IAP manufactured mid-2017 and uh, model number 80XR First thing, remove the CD drive. So that's the screw which has got a little CD symbol next to it. Now, in this case, it doesn't actually have a CD drive, it's a blanking plate, but depending on your model, it may have a CD drive. Then undo all the screws that you can see. The good news on this machine is that all the screws are the same size, so you don't particularly need to lay them out like I've done in a shape of the uh, computer where they came out of the computer. So that's all of the screws that are visible have been undone. Turn the machine over and open it. Now get a thin and non-scratchy blade and we need to run it between the upper case and the bottom part of the laptop body. So let's see whether I can get a good shot of this. Probably not, but let's give it a go. There we go. So along this edge, just very gently prying it away. So there's no snapping noises, it's just very gently kind of un unclipping along the edge. So I've now done all of that edge. I'm now going to turn the machine over and do this front edge. This time I am getting milder uh, unclipping noises along the front. There's not a lot of room to play with so I really suggest having a very thin blade. Um, this knife, if you've ever seen uh, Lewis Rossman's channel, so Rossman Repairs is where I got this recommendation from uh, years ago. He recommended the 103 made in Italy and I think it's an REM or RGM, must be RGM branded, uh, I think it's a craft knife or something for painting, but it works really well for opening up computers and not causing it, uh, any scratches or damage. Right, so I've now basically done 
two out of, of four sides. Go and come back up to this side. Probably be a bit more careful about this area because it's going to be quite thin because of that's where the CD drive uh, would would otherwise be. So just be careful not to fully snap or put too much pressure on that this bit of plastic that runs along here. So that's three of the main sides done and it's now going to be just this back bit here which probably if we just close this laptop and put it back on the desk and focus down on it uh, we can probably now just hinge this upwards yeah so there's not really in fact there are no clips at all along uh, well actually there are but just the pressure being released from every other edge undoes these two clips so you just literally hinge the underside up and there we have the machine so a lot of people ask questions about these machines and where stuff is so I'm just going to hopefully just film the motherboard and point out where some things are tiny battery that's much smaller than uh, in quite a lot of other machines Wi-Fi card that's probably the keyboard connector there. And uh, if that's interesting, so it didn't come with a CD drive, but actually if you take out the blanking plate, the header or the connector for the DVD or CD drive is actually there. Uh, you could also um, put in a converter that converts the uh, CD connector into a hard disk so you can actually have two hard disks within this machine or one SSD and one hard disk um, can't guarantee that that will work but it almost certainly will um, hard disk here which is a laptop thin drive and the, it's a one terabyte Seagate that's come shipped with this machine it doesn't look like there's any M2 NGFF SSD connectors on the motherboard so you have to have a two and a half inch SSD or replacement hard disk. Uh, up here you've got the video, or almost certainly the video connector because it goes into the screen up here. And that's probably about it. I wonder what this uh, strangely shielded area is. Anyway, back to the task in hand, which is replacing the hard disk. So where the hard disk is, just next to where the speaker and possibly might be a, an attempt at a subwoofer there is just put your finger under and it will hinge that hard disk up and then with it slightly uh, bent upwards see whether I can show you that there we go uh, you then just wiggle it away from the battery and there we go that's come unplugged and there is the old hard disk with a bit of uh, foam enclosure. Unclip the existing hard disk from the foam enclosure. Get your new hard disk. Put it back into the same place, obviously. There we go. And then, in the same way that you remove that hard disk, slowly wiggle that back into place and push it down. There we go, we're now ready to put the cover back on. So, I'm going to start by pushing it down at the back there while holding it down because I know there are two clips here. It's going to go around the rest of the case. Right, and then I'm going to open it and just go around the uh, 
top edge of the case, making sure it's fully clipped down. While I'm doing that, a lot of people ask about, well, okay, I've upgraded the hard disk in my computer, but how do I get all of my data from the old drive or, you know, the same operating system onto the new drive? So a lot of the times that I'm doing this uh, work, I am getting rid of the old operating system and I'm basically starting from scratch. But obviously a lot of people don't want to do that. If you want to keep all of your data, I strongly recommend using a program called Macrium Reflect, M-A-C-R-I-U-M, -M, Reflect. It's free for home use and a lead, not particularly expensive, from Amazon or eBay, which is a serial ATA to USB 3 lead. And before you do this operation, so with your old hard disk in the computer, you turn the computer on, you install Macrium Reflect, you plug in your new SSD or your new hard disk into the computer, fire up Macrium Reflect and click on the clone option and uh, clone your existing drive onto the new drive. When it's finished, shut the computer down and then uh, essentially swap out the drive like we just did now. When you turn the computer on, you'll be good to go. It will have an operating system and uh, all of your previous stuff there. Right, so I've clipped that computer back together. It's time to put all the screws back in it. And then finally, put in the CD DVD drive or its blanking plate and screw it into place. And there we go, that's replaced the hard disk in your Lenovo IdeaPad 320. If this video has been helpful to you, it'd be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing. You don't need to have the notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really help.